That's right, everybody. It's that time again. It's your favorite time of the year where every high school student goes to class absolutely afraid, out of their minds, ready to take their AP exams for the entire year. And let me tell you something. AP Physics is something else. If you guys are one of those students that have to take AP Physics, I feel bad for you because I am in the same position as you. At the start of the year, I was really, really, really considering not taking Physics as Science is definitely my worst class, but I ended up taking it anyways and we're here taking the ap exam so the ap exam starts in a few days what is there for us to do prepare study look over my notes that my teachers never taught me etc etc over the course of this year my teacher has been out every other week i mean the man gets sick 24 7 and i don't understand because he calls himself a passionate teacher. I mean, aren't you supposed to be at school if you're a passionate teacher? I don't know what's going on. All in all though, I do like the teacher. He is a good teacher. He has taught us pretty well. We are really behind on content. I don't know what I'm gonna do for energy, oh my gosh. I need a three on my AP exam in order to get the credit for college. So the goal is to get a three because I'm not getting a four or five. Now, you guys might be thinking to yourself, how are you gonna get a three on the AP exam? Well, today I'm gonna be showing you how to do that because my teacher forgot to tell us. First thing you wanna do is go over all your units, every single notes that you took throughout the year and make sure you find out which units you had the worst doing in. Whichever unit you did worse in, you study that unit. Gravity is the only force in free fall, all that good stuff. We love physics, that applies to life, right? I mean, doesn't everything apply to life? Doesn't my eyes apply to life? I don't know why they keep saying physics applies to life. I mean, everything applies to life. Science applies to life. Math applies to life. I don't, I don't even know why I need to know UCM. Why do I need to know that a circle accelerates when it's going through the middle towards the centripetal force? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore because I haven't studied for the AP exam and I'm gonna fail it and I'm so bad at this game called life. Oh my gosh. Second thing you guys wanna do is go to your teacher and ask for help. One thing that I found that is very, very helpful for anybody trying to study is to study directly with the teacher. I did this with my AP stats exam. My teacher told me the wrong formulas and I put in the wrong formulas on the exam. It was a mistake. It's okay though. Hopefully I still get a three on my stats. I probably won't though. <laughs> Do you guys like my voice and all of this? I sound pretty good, right? I did say I would do these videos once a week. Didn't follow on the promise though. Last video I talked about it, I was talking about it taking AP Physics though. So I was like, oh, let's do a video about AP Physics and how every student is gonna fail it because it's known as one of the hardest exams as physics applies to life as they all say. But why do we need to know that mass does not affect free fall? I don't really know, bro. Third thing you guys wanna do to study for AP physics is to do the mock exams. I know your teachers has already showed it to you. I lost my mock exam for stats and it ended up hurting me. So I would recommend going over the mock exam, doing it, and then looking over the problems, looking at what you got wrong, what you did right. I did that twice, once right after I took it and once right before the exam. You also wanna be very, very, very familiar with the formula sheet. For some reason, the AP people that love money they just love to make the formula sheets so terribly confusing i don't know why we have to change the variables because one thing's a circle and one thing's a line i don't understand somebody please make that make sense i don't know why there's stuff not on ap physics on the formula sheet i don't know why i i can't explain it but apparently there is so make sure you know the formula sheet everybody if you guys follow all these tips you might 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 maybe get a two or three instead of a one and that's what we're looking for right boys no i'm kidding if you're watching this you're probably smarter than me so you're probably gonna get a four or five if you follow these studying techniques that your forefathers and founding fathers created before you in the u.s constitution wait a second we're not talking about ap gov i got a five on ap gov because i'm smart in ap gov ap gov is very easy i'm not talking about ap gov i'm talking about AP 
AP Physics. AP Physics is not easy, at least for me. And you know me, I only think about myself because I live in America. Who who doesn't think about their self in America? You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Why am I still talking? I'm just talking to talk. I'm talking because I'm worried that the AP Physics exam is going to kill me. It's going to destroy me. It's going to take my pencil and pen. Guess what? You need a pen for the FRQ. My teacher said you didn't. I didn't know that and I got screwed. So make sure you bring a pen and a pencil, preferably three pens and three pencils because two pencils was not enough. They both broke and I had to walk up to the proctors and ask them why do pencils break so often and I was confused and I was lost and my AP stats exam, the score is gone. On another note, AP stats exam, terrible. I was worried the entire time. My calculator, I thought it would have died, but apparently it didn't. It clutched up for me. I put in formulas and functions that my teacher didn't even teach me. I found it off a calculator cheat sheet online because my teacher doesn't know how to read the internet. She's an old lady. What can I do? I don't blame her. She's a sweetie. Wait, should I even be saying that? Oh no, I'm canceled. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time. Hopefully you have a great AP exam and hopefully I can pass mine.